Welcome back. 14 minutes past the hour. That's a fun sight this morning, but it is a little dreary out there headed into the weekend, Aaron. Right, can we talk about that, uh, that grass, though? We're beginning to see that snow yes. melt away. Still seeing a snow depth of 8 inches, though. Uh, so we're likely going to see that snow completely depleted uh, as we welcome in uh, the middle to next uh, middle of next week. As far as that uh, chance for some rain showers and a wintry mix across South Central, uh, really going to linger with us through at least 9 to 10 a.m. before we begin to see uh, those drier conditions returning. It's already dry out towards southern parts of the Kenai uh, into the afternoon hours. We'll see some sunshine returning to the region, and that's going to carry us into the weekend as well. Widespread uh, isolated to scattered showers is occurring really for inland regions of south central. Most of the Kenai sitting on the drier side this morning, and then we've got light rain showers out towards uh, Prince William Sound with uh, as, you, as you head out towards uh, uh, the pass, likely seeing more in the way of some uh, snow showers out towards uh, Valdez and Thompson Pass. So we're still holding on to some uh, widespread rain out towards western parts of the Susitna Valley across the state. Uh, we do have some lingering rain showers out towards southeast, some snow occurring from southwest Alaska through Norton Sound, and then as far north as about Nome uh, dealing with that light snowfall activity. Quiet along the slope, we are seeing some breezy conditions, but uh, temperature-wise, certainly going to feel warmer than what we've seen uh, the past several days. So for today, we're going to see those temperatures warming into the mid-40s. Uh, again, there is that morning wintry mix chance this, uh, for the first part of the day. Won't cause any significant issues. What we will be watching, though, is as that rain comes to an end and that sun uh, begins to beam down, we will see those temperatures warm back into the mid to upper 40s. Now, uh, this particular model highlighting that we're going to see more in the way of snowfall, that's not going to be the case. However, out towards Talkeetna Willow, we could see uh, the better opportunity for some of that snowfall. But uh, really beginning to see us dry out as we welcome in the evening hours, some peaks of sunshine. Now, coastal regions still holding on uh, to that light rain and wintry mix. And then as we welcome in Saturday, we've got some sunshine returning to the region. It's going to be a hair degree cooler tomorrow for parts of South Central. Uh, and then what we're going to be watching into the afternoon and evening hours, uh, we do have an area of low pressure. It's kind of retrograding back towards the west. And as it does that, uh, we're going to see increasing clouds uh, for parts of south central uh, Saturday evening on into a Sunday. So if you live out in the Copper River Basin, Wrangell St. Elias, uh, and then out towards uh, really northern parts of the basin up towards uh, the Alaska Range, this is where we're going to see that better opportunity for some snowfall as we welcome in the weekend. Just a trace amount across a large portion uh, of South Central, maybe up to an inch for Talkeetna, uh, but you can see the heaviest amounts will occur out towards Thompson Pass and then as you head uh, into the Copper River Basin and Wrangell St. Uh, St. Elias. In fact, McCarthy could see uh, four plus inches of snowfall as we welcome in the weekend on into the first part of next week. So we're really beginning to dwindle away our snowfall chances, even our snow depth. Again, we're down to eight inches. You can see uh, just about a week ago, we were sitting right at 25 inches and we dropped down to uh, eight inches. And we're going to uh, really begin to see that snow depth depleted as we welcome in next week. Light rain showers across uh, the Kenai with temperatures warming back into the low to mid 40s. Uh, across Prince William Sound, we could see up to a half an inch of rainfall. Uh, the temperatures will be on the cooler side for the Sound with upper 30s and lower 40s expected. Uh, a chance for some wintry mix through the valley with temperatures warming back into the mid to upper uh, 40s, if not near 50 degrees. Some breezy conditions possible this afternoon. Uh, Kristen, we are going to close out April on a cooler note uh, with temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Another chance for some showers looks possible by Monday. And welcoming in May, still chasing that 50 degree day. It can't come soon enough. Thanks, Maybe Aaron. one day.